Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I thought I might talk to you guys about Shaman King on episode 34 of the 2021 version. <sighs> Forgive me, I'm just a little, it's a little late and I'm a little tired, if anything else. Like, um, let's talk about Shaman King's new episode, which is on episode 34. Now this episode right here, don't be surprised if I make it very short here and there with its summary. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Yo talks to Ami Madaru about his past with Matamune, you know, how he is connected with Hal. Eventually, Anna ends up stepping in and talks to Yo for a bit before giving him a big slap to the face telling him that he can't relax yet knowing that he has to defeat Hal, which is the main objective and goal in this series, you know, which is obviously from the get-go because we all know what Hal is capable of and what he did, you know. And we have to it, we get to see a scene with freaking like him. Um, Ren, etc., along with Ryu, Ryunosuke, have, Ryunosuke and freaking like um, Manta want to go check up on Ren. Manta, I understand. Ryu, on the other hand, he kind of ticks me off, makes me want to punch the living hell out of him, but he is what he is. A stupid ladies' man, Tom, Tom idiot, if anything. And we had to it that the maiden decides to do the freaking fairy tale ritual with, of Sleeping Beauty, of reviving Ren. I'm like, are you serious right now? Seriously, does the author really want to want to make that kind of freaking like um joke right now, or that kind of thing about Sleeping Beauty? But that aside, the maiden gives him the ki gives him the kiss with the freaking like um shaman with her shaman um shaman spirit whatsoever. And as for Marco or whatever that guy is of the X Laws, which I don't even really care about right now, um. We have to it that he wants to kill Tal Ren because he having to kill his own brother, you know, that kind of thing. But but we have to it, the maiden says, I have to fulfill my promise. But if he tries to kill me after my promise is fulfilled, you are more than welcome to kill him. And we had to it that Ryunosuke wanted to get a kid wanted to be killed and get killed and get a kiss from the freaking maiden. I'm like, dude, seriously, can I really chop off your hair or shave you bald right now? Some I like Ryunosuke in certain ways, but sometimes his actions pit I mean, tick me off or something, but that aside, because of his interruption, we have to tell Ren still revised, and he ends up using his freaking Firuko's power, which increased dramatically, and stops all the x loss from, from attacking him, you know? After Tal Ren makes an insult about saying, I never remember asking for your help to revive me, and we have to tell Ren um, ends up thinking yo, and by himself by saying, shit, shit, yo. And we have to it, Tao Ren ends up visiting Yo, talks to him for a bit, and he is upset of what Yo did, having to having to ditch the shaman fight in order to revive him, you know? Although I can understand Tao Ren's anger, he's pretty upset about it too, but he decides to still thank Yo because right now he can still make some atonement and maybe make some amends for what he's done, you know? Because we all know Tao Ren made a freaking like um sibling killing, you know, and that's when he did not know, etc., and that's gonna mark him forever. Not to mention he has a big scar in the middle of his chest right now, which is parallel or just like vertical, etc., you know, and we had to it that, um, Tal Ren thanks Yo in a certain way, and Yo's like, just don't get yourself killed anymore, Ren, seriously, it freaks me out a lot, you know, and as for, um, Horo Horo, along with like, um, Chocolove, they end up having to like him talk for a bit. Although Chocolove wants to, wants to like him lift Horo Horo's spirits up because we all know what happened with Horo Horo after what Yo did. You know he's really upset about this and etc. And we had to Horo Horo finds the football guy subordinate who finds Hal, of course, and that guy's Fuyuko or Shaman Energy was two hundred thousand or something. You know something that Horo Horo can't beat, but he decides to step in and help the Iceman anyway. Eventually, of course, I of course Horror Hall and the Iceman does get beaten very badly while his father watches away, but his father decides to leave and ends up making a raft. That guy tries to attack Horror Hall's dad, but Horror Hall's dad's father's spirit ally ends up being easily gives him one freaking falcon punch in the face and says, Later or get the hell out of here. And I was like, Wow, that means his dad was actually pretty cool. But we have to it that his father leaves one message to his son. Survival of the fittest doesn't mean you resign to your fate, etc. You know? After his father left by making a raft and sail away, we had to it that Horo Horo takes inspiration from what his father said and ends up having the Iceman spirit allies at his side to help him out. 
and we had to it that he's ready to get, he's ready to take on freaking Lego Man or whatever the hell his name is. I'm gonna call him Lego Man because he made a Lego dinosaur. I don't know what it is. So Horo Horo getting ready back into action. It looks like to me he's a little stronger than before. Hopefully we don't know, but he's having the Iceman Spirit allies come at, come with them to help him out. You know, and Horo Horo ends up act, acting going into Oversoul mode and getting ready for round two or facing Lego Man. You know, which I don't care. Next episode is called Reunion, and yeah. Anyways, I thought this episode was pretty cool with like um, Tao Ren revival, although the kiss was really unnecessary. I don't understand why that had to be and freaking Runosuke having to ruin the moment of the revival. But because of that, Tao Ren has a scar, vertical scar on his chest, you know. But that's a physical reminder and knows that he can't back away from his goal right now. Although he's really upset to see Yo having to leave the fight, you know. It is what it is. He's going to find a way how to like... um. Do something about it and he's indebted to Yo and he's really mad about that, you know? Because when someone does something for you, you're going to be in debt to them no matter what. Even if it's small or big or whatever the case may be. But whatever the case, overall in this episode, Tal Ren gets revived and Runosuke being a stupid a-hole. If, stupid idiot, if anything. Manta, on the other hand, was happy about it, you know? And they end up leading Tal Ren and... To where Yo is after Yo gets a big slap from Anna, which we all know that was that was expected to happen. And let's see here. Um Tauren's much more powerful now. The way how he insulted the maiden and she cries about it. Ha ha ha, that sucks for her, but whatever. And Horo Horo trying to fight the football man and Lego man. His father comes in, decides to leave the island, and gives a couple inspiring words to Horo Horo, you know, his own son. Survival of the face doesn't mean you resign to your fate, you know? And Horo Horo taking taking Inspiration from his father's words ends up getting the Iceman out, Iceman Spirit allies to help him out, and gets ready to ready to face Lego Man. <laughs> I'm calling him Lego Man because it's easy that way, and I don't and I don't care about him because he's not very relevant anyway. <laughs> so that's why, then, people. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out. Bye bye. Toot, toot, toot.